Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the hypothesis. We know that hypothesis is most important for the research. In this video we will discuss about the what is hypothesis, we will discuss the nature of hypothesis, importance of hypothesis and we will discuss the types of hypothesis. We know that we have a two types of hypothesis, first is null hypothesis and second is alternative hypothesis. We will see the detailed types of hypothesis in this video. So let's start today's video. Actually, formulating an original hypothesis is the important step after the narrowing down the research topic and define it. It is important for researcher to keep in mind while formulating an hypothesis that it must be based on the research topic. Actually, hypothesis it is a usually considered as an important mechanism in research. In research, hypothesis played a very important role. Actually, the word hypothesis came from the Greek word. Greek word hypothenia. Actually, the word hypothenia meaning is to put under or to suppose. A hypothesis will give a plausible ex explanation that will be tested. A hypothesis may seem clearly to be the real situation. Actually, the word hypothesis in a science generally refers to a defined interpretation of given set of data with certain assumption and generally uh, generally unverified data. Actually, the simple definition of hypothesis which is given by Luniber. Luniber said that uh, hypothesis is a tentative generalization. Is a tentative generalization the validity of which remains to be tested. In the context of testing, the hypothesis with revolent statistical data becomes important either to accept or reject the tentative assumption. Actually, uh, hypothesis is a tentative statement. Hypothesis is a tentative statement about the relationship between two or more variables. It is a specific testable predictive statement about the possible outcome of the scientific research study. Remember this word what I said, it is a test, it is a specific testable predictive statement about the possible outcome of a scientific research study. It is a stimulates the thinking, thinking process of researcher. Without hypothesis, research would be like an aimless. It provides a bridge between theory and reality. It provides direction, hypothesis provides direction to conduct the research. Actually, uh, hypothesis provide objectivity to research and we can say that hypothesis is a tentative statement and it is a show the direction of the, uh, it is show the direction of the, uh, our research. Okay. Now, we will discuss about the nature of hypothesis. Actually, nature of hypothesis is also very important. Hypothesis is a clear statement of what intended to be investigated means a researcher which thing he wanted to investigate it that should be mentioned in the hypothesis. It should be a specific before uh, it is a specific before research is conducted and openly stated in reporting the result. It is a powerful tool for advancement we can say. It is neither too specific nor too general. Means <coughs> Your hypothesis should not be uh, too specific or not to be too general. Okay, your uh, your hypothesis should be the prediction of a consequences. Hypothesis, though an important part of research, may not be required in all types of research. The research which are based on fact finding do not needed the hypothesis. Hilwes says that when fact finding alone is the aim of the study, a hypothesis is not required. Whenever possible, a hypothesis is recommended for all major studies to explain observed facts, condition or behavior and to serve as a guide in the research process. Actually, hypothesis provides direction to the research. It defines what is the relevant and what is an irrelevant thing about the research. And the hypothesis tells the researcher what he needs to do and find out in this study. Actually, hypothesis tells the researcher what data to collect and what not to collect, thereby providing focus to the study. So, these are the important things about the uh, hypothesis. Now, 
we will discuss about the hypothesis types of hypothesis in our uh, research there are two types of research sorry two types of hypothesis first is research hypothesis and second is statistical hypothesis now what is the uh, research hypothesis research hypothesis is the supposition or conjecture it motivates research it motivates research it may be formulated after several observations it further leads a leads to a formulated statistical hypothesis and second type of the um, uh, hypothesis is statistical hypothesis and statistical hypothesis has two types null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis statistical hypothesis are stated in such a way that they are evaluated by appreciate statistical techniques now we will discuss the uh, sub uh, sub types of research hypothesis the first type is known as the simple hypothesis simple hypothesis means uh, a res uh, it is a statement simple hypothesis means it is a statement that reflects the relationship that reflects the relationship between two variables that is called as a simple hypothesis the second is complex hypothesis when a hypothetical statement reflect the relationship between more than two variables it is known as a complex hypothesis next is associative hypothesis when the hypothetical statement reflect a relationship between variable that occur exist in natural setting without manipulation that is called as a uh, associative hypothesis here if there is a change in any one of the variable change also occur in the variables also and the next important that is casual hypothesis now what is the casual hypothesis casual hypothesis means it predicts a cause and effect relationship it predicts a cause and effect relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable here independent variable is tough to cause or determine the presence of uh, dependent variable so these are the sub types of research hypothesis now we will discuss about the statistical hypothesis and statistical hypo hypothesis has a two important uh, sub types that is known as a null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis now what is the null hypothesis actually null hypothesis means uh, it is also known as a ho null hypothesis is known as a ho or h o null hypothesis it is a hypothesis which is being tested means a hypothesis which we can test it that is called as a null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis in alternative hypothesis it is a one which we are willing to accept which we are willing to accept if we reject the null hypothesis if we reject the null hypothesis that is called as an alternative hypothesis so these are the important types of the hypothesis now what are the sources of hypothesis a good hypothesis can only be derived from experience in research though hypothesis should precede the collection of data but some degree of data collection literature review or pilot study will help in the development of a gradual refinement of the hypothesis for making hypothesis you can take help of your review of literature discussion with the experts in the given field to understand the problem its origin and objectives in seeking a solution so in the upcoming videos we will discuss the hypothesis testing if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you